Hey everyone, it's Financial Future here, and I'm thrilled to be back with another insightful video for you all. Today, we're diving into the latest updates on Social Security, the Affordable Connectivity Program, and more. So if you're eager to stay informed about your financial future, you're in the right place. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty, we cover everything from smart shopping to savvy saving strategies. Join our internet family by hitting that subscribe button below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. Now, let's get into the news. First up, let's talk about Social Security Adjustments for 2025. It turns out that some recipients are in for a pleasant surprise next month they'll be receiving not one, but two Social Security checks in May. This is due to a scheduling quirk affecting supplemental security income payments. Normally, these payments go out on the first of each month, but with June 1 falling on a Saturday, recipients will receive their payments on Friday, May 31. And this isn't a one-time thing expect to see double checks in August, November, and possibly September as well. It's definitely good news for those relying on these payments. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the cost of living adjustment for Social Security. As it stands, the projected COLA for 2025 is around 2.6%, which amounts to about $45 more per month. While any increase is welcome, many seniors are still struggling to keep up with rising costs of living, especially when it comes to essentials like food, housing, and medications. This issue isn't just a financial one, it could also impact the upcoming elections, with seniors demanding more support from policymakers. Speaking of support, there's a growing call for Congress to take action and boost funding for Social Security, particularly from women. Recent surveys show that the majority of women believe legislators need to prioritize strengthening Social Security to ensure a secure retirement for all. With retirement insecurity on the rise, it's clear that more needs to be done to safeguard the financial well-being of older Americans. And for those of you who are part of the Affordable Connectivity Program, don't worry you're still eligible for free phones and tablets, even after the internet discount ends. Plus, if you're a senior looking to save on food costs, be sure to check out the 2024 Farmers Market Nutrition Voucher Program which offers relief during the summer months. Now let's talk another video another video to keep you in the loop about the latest program on the Block Sunbox, formerly known as Summer EBT. There have been some changes, and I want to make sure you're all up to speed so you can maximize your benefits. So if you're curious about how to get your hands on those Sunbox, stick around because I've got you covered. Now let's dive into the details. Sunbucks, or Summer EBT, is a program designed to provide assistance to families during the summer months when school is out. Each child eligible for the program will receive $40 per month, totaling $120 for the summer. And here's the best part, you don't have to be an EBT recipient to qualify. As long as your child qualifies for free or reduced lunch at school, you're eligible to receive Sunbucks. Now let's address some common questions about the program. How do you apply? Well, for most children who already receive other public benefits, you're automatically approved for Sunbox. However, it's crucial to confirm your eligibility and update your address if necessary. If you're not currently receiving any benefits, you'll need to submit an application on your child's behalf. But what about those who homeschool or attend online school? Good news you may still qualify for Sunbox if you receive other benefits like SNAP, TNF, or Medicaid. Just be sure to check your eligibility and apply if needed. Now, let's talk about the changes to the program. Sunbox will be issued on a new card, which will be mailed to you in your child's name or yours, the parent or guardian. And unlike previous years, the benefits will expire 122 days after issuance so be sure to use them before they expire. And for those wondering if Sunbucks will affect other benefits, don't worry. Sunbucks won't impact any other food assistance programs you may be receiving. It's simply extra help on top of what you already have. Now, here's the kicker not all states are participating in Sunbucks. 
states like Alabama, Alaska, Florida, and others won't be offering the program this year. However, some states are considering it for future years, so stay tuned for updates. So, are you excited about Sunbox? Do you think $120 per child is enough? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, that's all for today. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button. Until next time, take care, and I'll catch you later, Gator. Bye, guys.